What's up? Good morning, family and friends. This is your girl. I know I ain't posted a video in a minute. I've been a little frustrated, but I'm okay now. Nothing major, just frustrated with life. You know, having my trials and tribulations, my ups and downs, but I decided a long time ago, no matter what the devil throws at me, I'm going to be okay. I might get down for a minute. I might be quiet for a minute. And when I'm quiet, I'm spending that extra time with the Lord. But the devil can't stop me. He might slow me down, but I'm determined never to give up. I might take a little extra time and rest, but I ain't going to never give up. And that's how you have to be. Don't you ever give up. I don't care what life throw at you. I don't care who said you could or you couldn't make it. I'm telling you today, you can make it. If God woke you up another day, he gave you another chance, you get up and you get to fight. I know life is rough sometimes. Life can knock you down, but you got to be like, you remember them little weeble wobbles you had when you were a kid? You punch it, bam, it go down and come back up. You punch it, oh, it go down and come back up. You punch it, bam, down, come back up. That's what you have to be like. No matter what life throw at you, it might get you down, it might slow you down, but you better get back up fighting. You better fight, baby, fight. It ain't been nothing major going on in my life. You know, just kids working my nerves. Ooh, I love the kids, y'all. But baby, baby, baby. If y'all got kids, grandkids, you understand. I love them, but I can choke the breath out of them all at the same time. So that's how I got to stay prayed up on the kids. Ooh, Jesus, Jesus. But you know what? The Bible said it was going to be like this. Said in the last days, kids were going to be disobedient to their parents. It was going to be a mother against daughter, father against son. And I promise it's like that. I'll be ready to touch my son. I'll be ready. But in the name of Jesus. This too shall pass. And that's how you have to be, baby. I've been praying a lot lately. I've been listening to the Bible a lot lately just to make it. Woo! And then I don't know if you like me. I watch the news. And man, there's so much going on right now. It's so much evil out here. I don't know how people make it without the Lord. I don't know. I'm glad that I have Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Because, baby, the stuff that goes on in this world will make you lose your mind if you're not careful. So you better get that. You better get Jesus while you still can. Because, baby, it's some things that's going to happen in this life. It's going to make it hard for you to smile. It's going to make it hard for you to get up out the bed. It's going to make it hard for you to put one foot in front of the other. You just going to want to lay there and die. But guess what? You can't. You can't lay there and die. It ain't your life to just give up. You got to get up. You got to keep fighting. You got to seek the Lord. You got to keep going and if you do it's gonna get better that's what i do when i'm frustrated i spend a little extra time reading my word i sleep a little bit more and i get some time to myself so that i can work through my problems and my issues so that i can come out with a smile on my face because let me tell you you know you live in life you already know baby but in spite of it we are winners you are a winner god loves you and he gonna work it out for our good and that's what i stand on for me when i spend time with god i like this uh i, I do it a couple ways 
one on YouTube. There's um, what I want to say. It's a channel. It's called the Bible Experience, and it actually came out some years ago. It was uh, 78 CDs, and it had the Bible um, on the CDs. But now, you know, everything with technology, digital, it's on YouTube. So I watch it on YouTube. So I've been spending some extra time with the Bible Experience. I also have the Bible downloaded on my phone. Sometimes I listen to that or sometimes I listen to my favorite preacher like Joyce Myers, T.D. Jakes, uh, Joel Osteen, you know, any of those Creflo dollars. Hey, I just know when I'm going through it, I need some extra word to get me together because I ain't even going to lie. Charlene can be a hot mess sometimes but i'm working on me and i work on me by spending some time with the lord meditating on his word trying to get out of self because i'm a hot mess and that's a lot of people's problem too we all focused on self you know we don't consider nobody else we just worrying about me what i need how i feel all this extra stuff well, I've been in my feelings, but I'm out. I'm out. I'm better. Spend that time with the Lord. Get my my will lined up with His will, and it makes things better. But you know what? I tell y'all all the time, to be honest, we ain't got nothing to complain about. We are blessed. Do y'all see? I'm driving to work. I'm looking pretty good, so I must be in good health. I don't look like I done missed a meal. Matter of fact, I look like I need to miss a couple meals. But anyway, I ain't sitting up here thirsty. If I need some water, I got some water. You know, we just, we be on some bull. Because if you really sit down and think about it, man, we got such a good life. We don't even recognize it. You know, so we really don't have nothing to complain about, be upset about be mad about we should be running around here all days with our hands raised saying holy holy hallelujah god is good because he is and he is good to us but we better get it right we better do our part because god is always gonna do his part so you gotta do your part but i just wanted to send y'all a message to encourage you let you know i've been down but i'm back up so don't you worry, it's going to be alright. Just keep on fighting one day at a time and you going to get where you need to be. Don't give up no matter what come upon thee. That's right, whatever come up on you, don't you give up. Right, get down like me, but get back up like me. Alright, I hope this video encouraged you. Put a smile on your face to keep fighting. That it's going to be alright. That God loves you. Life may throw some stuff at you. But at the end of the day. God is working it out. What? What? God is working it out. Yes he is. And that's what I stand on. It's going to be alright. We just got to relax and trust the Lord. Alright. Hope this encouraged you. Hope it put a smile on your face. Don't forget. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. At Charlene Sparks. Or you can follow me on Instagram, one Charlene Sparks. But whatever you do, you have a blessed day. You put a smile on your face. You go be a blessing to somebody and know that God loves you. And while you still have breath in your body, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you better do it. Time is running out. You don't have much time. I don't know exactly how much time, but you better do it while you still got time. All right. I love you. Remember, do your best. Pray about the rest. I'm going to make this a wonderful day. No matter what happens, I'm blessed, and I'm going to remember that, and I'm going to have a good day. So you have a good day, too. Go work hard at work. or No, don't work hard. Work smart. Don't nobody want to work hard. Work smart, all right? But enjoy your day. Put a smile on your face and know that God is working.
working it out for your good. All right. Mwah.